So are you from Lebanon? Or? Yes. Did they, you, you were born there? there? Yes, born and raised. Tell me how you got here. Um, well, considering what we had in Lebanon at the time, the civil war and all that, and I felt like uh, you know, I wasn't going anywhere over there. So I decided to uh, get out of there. And I got in a couple little troubles here and there. In so, Lebanon? Yeah. So I decided just to get out and uh, go do something with my life. And, um, and first thing that came to my mind is to come to America. And I had a friend here in Austin I came to see. And that's how I got here. And so what kind of troubles? Oh, just with, with the wrong people. Got in trouble with the wrong people. Militia stuff. Was it life-threatening kind of trouble? Yes. So you had to get out of there? Yes. <sighs> and, and your friend here in Austin, that kind of paved the way for you to move here? Or? No, no. I, I had some money saved up. And, uh, and uh, to be honest with you, I came in here with $2,000, and that was it. Did you speak English? Yeah. OK, you already had that down. OK. Um, how, how old were you? 24. When you moved here, 24. Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 50. You're lying. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're what, you're 50? One, almost. I'll be 51 in May. Oh, I'm 38. You liar. No, I'm serious, <laughs> I'm 50, I swear. No, I am 50. We're born in 62. Uh, you're holding up for the good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to have to see a driver's license before we leave here. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, so you came here with $2,000, then what? Yeah, and I, I kind of, uh, well, the first, uh, when I first got here, I had to stay with a friend of mine, which is the guy that I came to see. Stayed in him for a while. He got me a job. We worked, I actually worked at Kirby Lane, my first job. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, it didn't go so well. And um, I finally met this guy. I was walking downtown. I meet this guy. He goes, do you want a job? I'm like, what? He goes, do you want a job? I said, sure. What am I doing? He goes, I need a bouncer. It was a club downtown, Flamingos. And I worked there for like five years. It was good. It was fun. And you're not working there anymore, so what no, happened? No, 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 no. I actually, after that, I got tired of all that stuff, so I decided I want to do something good with my life. And uh, so I went, decided to, do, to go to barber school and um, got that done in almost, like, almost less than a year. And I didn't want to work for anybody, so I went ahead and opened a, a little shop, barber shop, and did really good. It was next door to a tanning salon. And the owner of the tanning salon is a friend of mine, so I was getting so many customers from the tanning salon, and I did really, really good for a while. And uh, um, after that, I started cutting hair. For, I cut hair for like 18 years. I still cut my friend's hair, that's about it, because the shop is here, and it's not, I mean, I can't charge people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but my friends don't want to go anywhere else. They still come to me. Um, and uh, decided about six years ago. I was always into the motorcycle since I was a kid. I had my first bike when I was like nine years old. And I, first thing I wanted to do, I couldn't wait till I get it home so I can change. I wanted to do something different with it. I don't want it to look like another bike on the street. The first thing I did is tore it all down and changed some stuff and painted the wheels and painted the glass, you know, I just to want to be different. And I took the exhaust, cut the mufflers out because I wanted it to be loud. Um, and uh, I've been in motorcycles all my life. And I, you know, uh, about six years ago, seven years ago, I decided I want to build my own bike from scratch. Because I went to, I go to shows and stuff, and you see the same bikes with a different paint job and stuff like that. I'm like, man, I could do something better than that. And, uh, and uh, my, my uh, inspiration really comes from, uh, from movies like Mad Max and stuff like that. I love that theme, you know what I mean? And uh, that was the backbone that you saw earlier. That was my first bike. I took it to a show in Dallas, the Easy Riders. I got best of show. I'm like, wow, this is cool. And that's, uh, that was the kick. That's what started the whole thing. And you just kept going. Yeah, I kept going. 
I want to clear up one little thing in my mind when you st that that first bike that you took apart and yes. started making uh -huh. changes to. Um, was that here or was that in? No, Lebanon? back in Lebanon. That I was, was nine Lebanon. years old. You were nine when you when you dug into the bike. Oh like, yeah, oh yeah, oh what? yeah. Huh. Yeah. And and I mean, it wasn't like a custom bike. It was like what a nine year old can do. You know what I mean? Take stuff apart and paint it and put it back together. That's about it. And you learned what you were doing, though. I mean, it, everything it, it is really self-thought, except yeah. like, like uh, welding was our, some the old old man I know taught me how to weld. He's, and then machining, Dwayne, friend of mine, he helped me a lot with the machining. He owns a machine shop here in town, Rents Precision. He actually taught me how to do most of the machining. So I do my own machining now. I try to at least like the stuff that I could do, I do it. The stuff that I can do, like CNC stuff, they do it for me. CNC. 